A needle is obviously an essential piece of cross stitch kit, but have you ever considered if you're using the right size needle? Or maybe you're very new to cross stitch and you're just not sure which size needle you should choose. Or even if it matters. Well, it does matter to a point, pun definitely intended, and I'm going to explain why. Hi there, stitchy friends. I'm Kat from Katkin and Lily, here to help you uplevel your cross stitch game with tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you get the most joy from your stitching. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. And if I mention any links in this video, then I'll pop them in the description below. In this video, I'm going to explain all about the sizing system for cross stitch needles and why you might want to choose a particular size, which might not be the same for each project. If you're working from a kit, it will usually include a needle, but that doesn't mean you have to use it. Once I've covered all of that, I have another resource for you if you're keen to dive more into the world of needles, so I'll share that at the end for you. Let's get started with the basics. And the needles I'm talking about here that are used for cross stitch are tapestry needles, or you might find them specifically sold as cross stitch needles. They have a slightly bigger eye than some other types of needles and a blunt rounded tip. Tapestry needles range all the way from size 13 to 28, and the bigger the number, the smaller the needle. So for cross stitch, the sizes that are most commonly used would be a size 24, 26, or 28. And here's what those sizes look like. You can see the size 24 is the biggest, and the size 28 is the smallest. The main reason for adjusting the size of needle you use is to best suit the fabric you're using and specifically the counter fabric you're using. Which is why you'll find versions of this guideline to tell you what size needle to use for which counter fabric all over the internet. If I've just lost you by mentioning fabric count, then I have a blog post all about this, which I'll link in the notes. So pop over to have a look at that and then come back here. This brings me to why we should even care about the size of needle that we're using. And the main reason is that if you use a needle that's too big for the counter fabric that you're using, then it can stretch the holes. And that might just not look quite as nice when it's finished. Let me show you what I mean. Here's some stitching on 16 count Ada. And I stitched one of these hearts with the recommended size 26 needle and one with a larger 24 count needle. Here's the thing. Can you even tell which is which? I think maybe you can tell that a couple of the holes are very slightly stretched on the heart on the right, but it's so marginal. So I reckon you can go up a needle size without it making much difference to the look of the finished piece. So how about going one size smaller? Well, the only problem you have there is that the smaller needle can more easily fall out of the holes as you stitch, which is slightly annoying. But there can actually also be one benefit to going one size smaller. If you're new to cross stitch, and you're using a size 24 needle on 14 count Ada as recommended, then you actually might find it a little bit of a struggle to get the needle into the holes without splitting the fabric or other threads that are already in there. It can be quite a tight squeeze and you might well find it easier with a size 26 needle as long as you don't mind it being a little bit smaller. I use a size 26 needle on both 14 count and 16 count Ada. I don't really stitch on 18 count Ada very often but on the rare occasions I do, I would use a size 28 needle. So don't be afraid to try a needle one size up or down from what the guidelines recommend. Just use that as a starting point. And if you need to use a bigger needle because you find it easier to hold or it's easier to thread, or you prefer a smaller needle because it's easier to get it into the holes, then that's what you should do. So I mentioned another resource I have for you. And if I've whetted your appetite for learning about cross stitch needles, then you can find more information in my blog post, such as the different types of tapestry needle available. I'll link that down in the notes for you. Okay, have I got you thinking about your needle size now? Maybe you already have a go-to. I'd love to know what you prefer to use, so do let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to subscribe because there's lots more good stuff on the way. Thank you so much for watching and happy stitching.